I've had gentler invitations. <clears throat> I am Cassandra Pentagust, seeker of the Chantry. <laughs> and just, uh, what are you seeking? The champion. Which one? You know exactly why I'm here. Time to start talking, dwarf. They tell me you're good at it. <laughs> what do you want to know? Everything. Start at the beginning. have to fight them sooner or later. Then we make our stand here. Prepare yourself. Let's make this quick! We can't keep this up forever. We'll make it through this, together. Here they come. Shall I give them a taste of my blade? Allow me. Yeah. <laughs> 
there's no end to them. Bullshit. That's not what really happened. Does that not match the story you've heard, Seeker? I'm not interested in stories. I came to hear the truth. Well, what makes you think I know the truth? Don't lie to me! You knew her even before she became the champion. Even if I did, I don't know where she is now. Do you have any idea what's at stake here? Let me guess. Your precious chantries fall into pieces and put the entire world on the brink of war. And you need the one person who could help you put it back together. The champion was at the heart of it when it all began. If you can't point me to her, tell me everything you know. You aren't worried I'll just make it up as I go? Not at all. You'll need to hear the whole story. Light had been unleashed on Ferelden. Dark spawn poured out of the wilds, clashing against the army at the ruins of Ostagar. The battle was a disaster. King Kalin died on the field with his men, betrayed by his most trusted general. Unopposed, the horde marched on the village of Lothering. The village burned, and many innocents were slaughtered. The champion's family barely escaped in time. I think that's all of them. For the moment, make us save us. We've lost it all. Everything your father and I built. We have to get out of here while we still can. Yes. You're right. We should have run sooner. Why did we wait so long? Why are you looking at me? I've been running since Ostagar. Are you two insane? If we stand around, we'll die. Please, listen to your sister. Then let's go. Lead on. Wait, where are we going? Away from the Darkspawn, where else? And then where? We can't just wander aimlessly.
We stay alive. That's the only thing we need to worry about right now. We can go to Kirkwall. What? Why would we go there? There's a lot of Templars in Kirkwall, Mother. I know that. But we still have family there. And an estate. Ah. <sighs> then we need to get to Guarin and take ship. If we survive that long, I'll just be happy to get out of here. To arms! <laughs> Not while I breathe. Stop squirming, Wesley. You'll make it worse. Apostate. Keep your distance. Well, the Maker has a sense of humor. Huh. Darkspawn and now a Templar. I thought they all abandoned Lothering. The Spawn are clear in their intent, but a mage is always unknown. The Order dictates. Wesley. The Order dictates. Dear, they saved us. The Maker understands. Of course. I am Aveline Valen. This is my husband, Sir Wesley. We can hate each other when we're safe from the Horde. How bad is that wound? I think my sword arms are lost, even with healing. Then you will have mine, as always. For now, we move with you. North is cut off. We barely escaped the main body of the Horde. Then we're trapped. The wilds are to the south. That's no way out. I'm not running straight into the Horde. We go south.
quickly before they Be strength. up. The battle's over. We're fine. I'm sorry, mistress. Your daughter is gone. No. These things will not take Bethany. If you fall apart now, you endanger us all. Don't lecture me. This is your fault. How could you let her charge off like that? Oh, my poor little girl. My sweetheart. If we stand here weeping, the Darkspawn will take the rest of us, too. Allow me to commend your daughter's soul to the Maker, Mistress. Ashes we were, and ashes we become. Maker, give this young woman a place at your side. Let us take comfort in the peace she has found in eternity. I will never forget you, Bethany. Our lives are more valuable to her than our prayers. Let's go. Flames. We're too late. Now That's we fight! Powerful. Retreat! There's no end to them.
What have we here? It used to be we never got visitors to the wilds, but now it seems they arrive in hordes. I don't know what we would have done if you hadn't arrived. I do. You would have perished. You still may. If you wish to flee the Darkspawn, you should know you are heading in the wrong direction. So you're just going to leave us here? And why not? I spotted the most curious sight. A mighty ogre vanquished. Who could perform such a feat? But now my curiosity is sated and you are safe for the moment. Is that not enough? We won't be able to get through the Darkspawn on our own. They are everywhere, or soon will be. Where is it you plan to run to, hmm? We're going to Kirkwall, in the Free Marches. Kirkwall? My, but that is quite the voyage you plan. So far, simply to flee the Darkspawn. Our home is gone, and we have nowhere else to go. I see. Hurtled into the chaos, you fight, and the world will shake before you. Is it fate or chance? I can never decide. It appears fortune smiles on us both today. I may be able to help you yet. Anything you could do for us would be appreciated. Should we even trust her? We don't even know what she is. I know what she is. The Witch of the Wilds. Some call me that. Also Flemeth. Asha Bellinar. An old hag who talks too much. <laughs> Does it matter? I offer you this. I will get your group past the Horde in exchange for a simple delivery to a place not far out of your way. Would you do this for a Witch of the Wilds? We don't have much choice. We never do. There is a clan of Dalish Elves near the city of Kirkwall. Deliver this amulet to their keeper, Marathari. Do as she asks with it, and any debt between us is paid in full. Before I take you anywhere, however, there is another matter. <coughs> no, leave him alone. What has been done to your man is within his blood already. You lie! She's right, Aveline. I can feel the corruption inside me. I can't afford that kind of liability. No! The only cure I know of is to become a Grey Warden. And they all died at Ostagar. Not all, but the last are now beyond your reach. Aveline, listen to me. You can't ask me this. I won't. Please. The corruption is a slow death. I can't. I'm sorry, Aveline. This has to be done.
Without an end, there can be no peace. It gets no easier. Your struggles have only just begun. Flemeth! I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion? Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? No. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better, too. What else aren't you telling me, then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. So it's true. Continue. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon... Nothing so fanciful, I assure you. The witch kept her word and got them to Guaran, where they took ship. They sailed north across the waking sea, lashed by terrible storms. Two weeks they spent in that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate. And then they saw it. Kirkwall, the city of chains. Long ago it was part of the Imperium, slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Now, it's a free city, but I use the word loosely. Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows, welcoming you. That's where their ship landed, with all the rest. anyone into the city what that can't be it's true look at them all are we really surprised everyone's fleeing the blight just as we are and they would throw us all back to the wolves unbelievable so long as we're all safe that's more important we need to find Gamlin. Our family has always been highly regarded in Kirkwall. He can do something, I'm sure of it. Let's hope he received your letter. The guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him. <laughs> <laughs> 